All right, let's start this creamy, cheesy spaghetti off. Okay, in a pan, we want to get three tablespoons of oil. I'm using uh, grapeseed oil, but if you like, you can certainly use uh, olive oil. Um, and you want to heat that up for just a second. Then you want to add two teaspoons of garlic or four minced cloves. And you want to give this a second to kind of brown up a little bit. Alrighty, time to add about a cup of chicken stock or chicken broth and a cup of heavy cream. And you want to give this a chance to incorporate, get heated up a little bit. Oh, and at some point you should be uh, starting a pot of boiling water and adding some pasta because you're going to want about... Uh, three quarters of a cup of pasta water maybe a little more maybe a little uh, less depends on how what consistency you like your sauce at I like mine a little little bit on the thicker side so I added less water uh, also this recipe uh, is available in the link below uh, if you have trouble following in video format links uh, down below to my blog and there's the about three quarters of a cup of pasta water that we're gonna add to this sauce. Okay, and then add a cup of an Italian cheese mix and give that a couple of seconds to uh, melt up. And as you can see, we got our spaghetti already. Then dump your one pound of spaghetti in the sauce and you want to give this some good stirs around because you want it all nice and well incorporated. Don't worry if that sauce is a little too thin. It will thicken up due to the cheese and the fact that the pasta is going to soak up a lot of the moisture. And last but not least, we're going to add just a little bit of parsley, about three tablespoons worth of parsley. And then you want to give... Uh, that a little stir around you probably want to turn off the heat at this point because lord knows you don't want to actually start cooking the fire sleep and it'll get heated up enough with the ambient heat rolling around all right last thing we got to do is serve this son of a bitch up okay we've got it plated up and time to put the finishing touches on this now this is completely and utterly optional but i really like it i think it tastes great you want to add some freshly ground black pepper to your pasta and we're not quite done with the cheese yet again this is purely optional do it if you like but I'm gonna add some Parmesan to the top of this here uh, dish just a couple of sprinkles and that's it cheesy chicken pasta done